Hello and welcome back to another SQL tutorial. This is video number nine of the series. We are learning SQL, a structured query language, and we have started from some very basic stuff, and then we are moving slowly towards the uh, the complexity of the language. Most of the attention is towards learning SQL. SQL is not an isolated thing. It has to communicate with the database, a relational database management system, and every vendor has its own flavor of SQL. Now you cannot run SQL alone so you have to learn some of the the interface uh, commands and some of the commands that are related to a particular vendor. Somebody asked me this question how to create a user if you're using command line interface. If you have seen I think it was second video we created a user with the help of a web-based application that is provided by Oracle what if we were to create a user with the help of SQL command line? So the it is something very simple. You have to connect to the database as system DBA. Okay, any user that has uh, DB access, I'll use sysdba and I'll type in the password. We connected, and you can simply create user Michael, for example. The the new username is Michael, and identified by Jackson. So Michael is the username and Jackson is the password. Semicolon and a user created. And you can also see because you're connected as a DBA, you can actually have a look at data dictionary. Just if you type in select asterisk from cat, you have a number of data dictionary views, 3,575 uh, objects, database objects. This is metadata or data dictionary, data about data. So this is the data about Oracle database itself. 3,575 objects are running this database. There is a table called all users. Select asterisk from all underscore users semicolon, and you have a list of all users that are created that are present in the in the database. This is the user that we created, and we have been using this user to learn SQL. This is the user that we just created. This is the user ID of the user, and this is the date on which. The user was created. Now we have just created user. You cannot actually connect to database using this user. We can try connect Michael and password was Jackson. Okay. Michael lacks create session privileges. So the user was created but it was not granted any privileges to connect to the database. It does not have access to the database. So you'll have to connect to database as sysdb again grant DBA to Michael. So we are giving maximum privileges to this user. Grant succeed. So if you can connect and one more way to type in the password is slash and then type the password. The problem is people can see it this way and now you are connected to the database as Michael. You can say show user and the user is Michael. The Michael does not have the user Michael does not have any database object so far nor was selected. Okay. So that's how you create a user and that's how you grant there are a number of privileges that you can grant to a user. You DB access is the highest access. It's a high level access and you don't want everybody to have this access. But uh, we were just learning so I sh just showed you how to create a user and then how to grant or how to grant a privilege to a user. You can also drop user uh, if you have to again connect as sysdba. Okay. Okay, now you want. Let me show you all users once again. So this is the user that we want to drop. And command is simple drop user user drop the user has been dropped thank you very much